Whoa, what's this? This isn't the computer I usually record on. Hello, all the crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. And I think it's finally time for me to talk about GMRT. So for those of you who have not been keeping up with Game Maker News in the past three years or so, GMRT is, um, if you have a flair for the dramatic, the future of Game Maker. It is a complete rewrite of the Game Maker compiler to a degree that we really haven't seen since, like, GMS1 came out more than 10 years ago. If it helps, you can think about it as, like, Game Maker Studio 3, but Yo-Yo Games really doesn't like it being called that because, among other things, we're now decoupling the uh, compiler from the IDE. But that's the kind of fundamental change we're talking about here. Now, GMRT, which stands for Game Maker Runtime, perhaps a little uninspired, but we'll work with it. Anyway, this is still in the very early beta phase right now. This is not something that any of us are going to be using to make a game for quite a while. Yo-Yo Games thinks it'll be in, like, production-worthy state by the end of the year, but... Well, time will tell. Anyway, if you want to install GMRT and start to mess around with it and see what it's about and see how it works and how you can break it, uh, this is going to be a video for you. I will, I'm sure, at some point in the future when it's more mature and more, like, ready to be actually used to make a, make a proper video on it. But let's go through how we can get this up and running. So first, I'm going to go into the Game Maker Beta IDE. I believe this will also now work in the Game Maker Regular Monthly IDE, but I'm just using the beta because it feels better. Uh, let me go create myself a blank project. Um, it's called GMRT Test. Uh, let's see. You don't actually need to like have a project open in order to access the package manager, but we're going to need to do that sooner or later anyway, so uh, that's fine. Let's see. I'm going to go into the uh, the tools menu at the top of the IDE here. Where's the package manager? The package manager can be found here. Um, there's a... Uh, the package manager is a handy little, little feature that GameMaker added a few months ago. Uh, by default, the package source should say, should open up to GMRT. There's a bunch of other things in here, like... Uh, prefabs, which I believe are like game makers, uh, free asset bundles that they've that they've done over the years. I'm gonna go back to GMRT over here, and uh, there's a couple things we're going to need to install. Firstly, uh, GMRT Win X64. So this is basically, um, you know how when you have like your different game maker like build targets, you have uh, GX, you have Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, and so on and so forth. Now we can uh, we can install. Uh, each of the exports for GMRT separately. So we have Windows, we have, uh, this one is for Opera GX, this one is for uh, for Linux, and uh, at some point in the future, other platforms like mobile and uh, consoles and whatever are going to be added. Let me start off by installing GMRT Win64. This is going to take a while. Uh, I'm, I'm using a, a computer which I don't ordinarily use because I want to, like, not have as little, like, extra stuff on my computer when I show this being installed as possible. And, um... I, I try to defend uh, spinning mechanical hard drives. Uh, I, I try to like not make them out to be as, as terrible as some people do, but the spinning mechanical hard drive in this thing really is like powered by a hamster running around in a hamster wheel. Uh, so I'm just going to get back to you when this thing is finished. Okay, that took a few minutes. You might notice that that installed several, uh, several other of these items uh, along with it, uh, including the runtime and uh, Visual Studio Sysroot. Um, we're also going to need Ninja. This is the build system the GMRT uses. I, it does bear mentioning, by the way, that uh, at the current moment, as of my recording this, uh, January 2025, that was a lot faster. Thank you, Game Maker. Uh, the process for installing GMRT is a little bit convoluted. We're also going to need CMake here. And I'm hoping that by the time it hits like its final stage, um, it, it's a lot easier to install and doesn't require like you to install like four separate things separately because that's uh that'll be a pretty high uh, barrier to entry for people who just want to install game maker try it out and see what it's about who don't know like a lot about how like computers and how compiling and that sort of thing works uh there is more after this by the way uh i should i should mention uh cmake is taking longer than i thought it was going to and this is already, like, a lot more straightforward than it was when it first hit closed beta uh, almost two years ago, because when, when I had to set that up, it took, like, the, pro the whole process took, like, a half an hour. And that was also back when the package manager was, like, half implemented, so I had to do a bunch of this stuff manually. All right, so we've got, uh, we've got uh, CMake installed. I think I can close this now. Um, there is one more thing I'm going to need, so let's go and open up a, uh, let's go and open up a Firefox window, and I'm going to need to install... Um, Microsoft's, uh, .NET 8. Uh, this is something that may or may not already be installed on your computer, and of course Firefox is gonna ask to update. 
All right, that took a few more minutes. What are we looking for? The, uh, the .NET 8 runtime. So I'm just gonna go and punch that into Google. I assume we're using Google here and not like Bing or something. Uh, Microsoft, you can find that on Microsoft's website, uh, .net.microsoft.com. Um, oh man, this computer is something else. I seriously like, I should install like Crystal Disk or something on this, uh, on this computer and run it and see if like there's actually something wrong with this hard drive because this is just silly. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, uh, you know what I did is I uh, installed the core runtime, didn't I? Not the SDK runtime. Well, we can do both. And that's gonna take another, uh, it's gonna take another couple of minutes. And now we are going to click through this. We're going to pretend to have read the terms and conditions. We're going to appease the Windows Microsoft user account control. And we're going to actually install .NET Runtime 8.0.12. Okay. So that's installed. By the way, I believe the, uh, the .NET SDK is something that will be installed with Visual Studio if you have Visual Studio on your computer already, which I'm guessing a number of you already do. So you could probably get away with skipping that step. Anyway. Can I, uh, do I have to restart my computer again, or am I gonna have to, uh, can I just, can I just, like, let it, let it go? I'd like to not have to restart the computer again, because that took, like, ten minutes. Because this thing is powered by a hamster wheel. Alright, now it's actually running. So, um... All right, so, we popped up a window, we've got ourselves a little red circle. Uh, on the screen, that is what we had with GameMaker VM, with like current runtime VM. Um, if you wanted to be a little bit more adventurous, we could do some things like uh, uh, have the circle move around on the screen. Uh, perhaps if keyboard check um, or I'll, I'll just use the arrow keys. Something like this, right? Uh, if you were to uh, have the, uh, the circle move around with the arrow keys in GMRT, we would be able to do that. Uh, most basic things in Game Maker in GMRT should work out of the box. Uh, there are a handful of issues that you might encounter if you try to do more complicated things with like shaders or graphic settings or that kind of thing. Um, there's a handful of functions which simply aren't implemented yet. I believe um, one of them that's been like annoying me for a while is font enable effects and font enable SDF. I don't believe this is still implemented in uh, GMRT yet. So if I were to just create myself a little font, uh, don't actually have to use it for anything, but if I were to call font enable SDF on it, um, this would just uh, this would just crash GMRT because the the function hasn't been implemented yet. And there are uh, I need a true after that. There are a handful of other uh, functions which uh, are in the same boat here, uh, not having not been implemented yet. And that's again. All right, yeah, I tried to run that and it basically crashed instantly because it says uh, reference error, fun enable SDF is not defined. Uh, so that's the kind of thing that you'll have to watch out for if you did for some reason want to try to make an actual game in GMRT. Um, we are currently on, what, version 0.15.4 of GMRT and hopefully, like, as time goes on, issues like this will be ironed out. Uh, hopefully, as time goes on, the installation process will be made nicer because... You saw how long that took just to get a little red circle on the screen. Uh, as for performance, because I know a number of you are interested in performance. So I mentioned that uh, GMRT works uh, with this technology known as LLVM, which is a, a language agnostic compiler of sorts. I have been doing my own testing and benchmarking different kinds of code between like the current runtime and GMRT um, as updates to GMRT come out. And I found that for the most part, uh, GMRT, you can usually expect it to work about as well. You can usually expect it to perform about as well as the current runtime's Yo-Yo compiler. Uh, there are some exceptions. I've found so far things like memory allocation takes a lot longer in GMRT than it does in current runtime for some reason, and I have no idea why. And the difference between like GMRT VM and GMRT like fully compiled is at the moment not tremendously. Uh, like, it's not a tremendous speed up the way the current runtime VM and current runtime YYC is. 
Um, Russell, every time I brought this up, Russell of uh, Russell K has assured me that like they have not really started to work on optimizing this yet. They're still working on getting it running, period. In a year or so, I think the story will be very different. Like currently in both VM and YYC mode in the current runtime, like there's still so many layers of abstraction between uh, the GML that you write and actual bare metal that uh, a lot of the optimization techniques that you might hear about elsewhere in the computer science world, like um, optimizing memory layouts and that sort of thing to improve memory bandwidth and to uh, reduce cache latency, you can't really ever create any uh, situation where you can really take advantage of that in Game Maker because the uh, the runtime has to do so much other stuff in the background that like that you don't have much control over. And hopefully, we'll see if this pans out. Uh, that will be something that uh, the uh, the overhead of the of the runtime and of the engine is low enough that that will actually be something that uh, you can you can worry about if you want to. I'm gonna end this off. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. Uh, if you uh, if you install GMRT, definitely let me know how it goes for you. You are going to find bugs, and uh, feel free to report those to Game Maker so that they can like, you know, fix them. If you don't know where to do that, I'll have a link to the bug reporter down in the description of the video. Until then. I like to post videos on the weird stuff you can do in Game Maker, so if you're interested in anything like shader nonsense or 3D nonsense, feel free to subscribe. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. You should all go check out Wizard X and the Lost Hat, which is the game that I like to work on when I'm not doing YouTube stuff. Link to the Steam page can be found down below. I hope you all found this interesting, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to DJ Gibbles, Edward Hulk, Game Maker, Ganymede Ghost, Manta Ray, Spy Die Games, Square Crow, Vitro V, and Zengiment for supporting these videos. If you feel inclined to support the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.